guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review these two Henny Mori perfumes. So I have here Henny by Henny Mori and Butterfly. So if you watched my last Blind by haul, you will have seen that I already talked about this one. I have had this one for a couple weeks now. So if you watch that, you will already know that I absolutely love this one and I also said that I was still waiting for Butterfly to come in the mail and I actually got this one yesterday so I wanted to make a video about these two fragrances together. So Henne by Henne Mori is for all the toffee, sweet, fruity gourmand lovers out there. This smells exactly like wild strawberries and toffee and that combination with all the other notes, it has some other fruits in here and some florals. Together with those, this mix is a very airy, light, but very sweet and cozy strawberry pastry. That's what this smells like. This is very nice now for the colder ones I found, but if you're a very gourmand, sweet toffee lover, this one is also a very nice fragrance for pretty much all throughout the year. The florals and the fruity notes in here make this quite light of a fragrance. Um, so it is a very wearable toffee fragrance. It's definitely not going to be too strong. If you love toffee and you're like, okay, it's way too much for like office or spring or summer, this is going to be your favorite fragrance from now on. The fruits and the florals make this still very light and wearable, but still very cozy and warm because the toffee is still very dominant in this. Because it's quite of a lighter, airier, toffee, pastry smell, it can feel kind of like it's not really lasting or not really projecting. But this perfume actually lasts and projects pretty well. I usually do around like five sprays minimum of this one. And when you do that and you also spray it on your clothes, this one definitely stays all day. You get whiffs of this one. Um, so it's a very beautiful fragrance. If you love, again, very sweet gourmand, fruity, patchouli fragrance, then this one is definitely going to be for you. Okay, so I got Henne by Henne Mori because I was looking into the Henne perfumes and um, I actually wanted to get Butterfly. So I ordered that one as well, definitely because I really love Henne, um, the previous fragrance. So I was really excited to get this one. I looked at the notes as well. I saw a lot of YouTubers talk about this one. So in the notes, you can see that this in the top has basically all the berries you can think of. If you've been watching my channel, you might already know that I love fruity scents and definitely my fruits of the forest, berries. And this in the top is strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, black currant, all the berries you can think of. The middle is all kinds of florals. And in the base, there's all kinds of wood with an added almond tree note in there. So I thought I was gonna love this one. Spoiler alert, I don't. I got this one yesterday and I actually sprayed it and had to go look back on Fragrantica and see if I wasn't crazy. I was expecting a lot of berries with a woody base. Instead, I got a plasticky artificial strawberry kind of like a makeup powdery strawberry so i would say mainly i get strawberry sandalwood in this fragrance and i think the other notes just make this very artificial plasticky smelling i also saw that this one had ylang ylang and if you watched my last pure excess review you might know how i feel about ylang ylang so maybe that's why like thrown in the mix with all the other notes, this one really does not smell good to me. Like I said, I went on for Grantica, looked at other people's comments, and a lot of people were actually mentioning that plasticky Barbie doll strawberry um, scent. So I guess you either get like a really nice berry powdery scent of this, if you really like powdery scents, if you really don't mind a artificial strawberry then you might like this if not you will probably not like this uh, definitely don't get this one if you don't i found the longevity and the projection on this one about the same as 
Honey. So on the skin, it's not amazing. Give it definitely on clothes. This one performs better than on the skin. In conclusion, I would say buy this one and don't buy this one. Unless you like very powdery, very artificial like strawberries, you might like this one. So give it a try then. If you like gourmands, Definitely, if you like toffee and fruity fragrances, this is definitely gonna be your thing. So go buy this one. They're both very inexpensive, so if you want, try them out. So this was my review of these two Henne Mori perfumes. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you've gotten any of these fragrances, what you think of them, and if you have any recommendations for future videos, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.